Hello and welcome to another Command and Conquer Rivals video. Retro Rockets here. Today I'm just going to make a quick video on how to beat Scarabs. Because I see a lot of people say they're having a, a hard time going against people who Scarab rush, you know, to capture the missile points and then they can't sort of get them off. I'm going to show you the best way to deal with scarabs. This works in all leagues where people are using scarabs, okay? But what I will mention is you really need to have... In the early game, you need a unit that doesn't cost a lot. So a scouting unit like militants or cyber wheels. Or even a unit that costs 20. So rocket troops, something like that. Or in the late game, if you're suffering in the late game, you need a unit that can shoot from two tiles away. Okay, so I'm spectating my main account here. I just had this game. It's a textbook example of how to beat Scarabs, okay? So we'll just go through it together. Establishing battlefield control. This is my main account, I'm in Diamond 1 at the minute, about to go up to Masters League, so this isn't a a low level game. Okay, I'll spectate it from my point of view, I'm on the right here. As you can see, what he's doing is a Scarab Rush, so he's building Scarabs before he's even built a Harvester. But I'll just stop there. Okay, so as I said, he's built a barracks and has started pumping out scarabs before he's got a harvester. And when you see it that early on, you see scarabs out on the field that early on, you, you know that he hasn't got a harvester. So he's not building Tiberium income as fast as you are. But what you see I did there, I, I built a harvester and then a war factory and immediately got out a scouting unit. So I can see his strategy, what he's doing early on. So I managed to get to the middle pad before his scarabs had set up. So I now know I've basically got control of the middle pad here. He contests it with his scarabs obviously, but as I say, because my cyber wheels are cheap units, I don't mind letting the scarabs take them out because scarabs cost 30 and my cyber wheels cost 10. But what you see here at the top, I see, because um, Cyber Wheels have such a good vision range, I see that he's trying to move Scarabs to the top pad. So I block him and take control of the top pad before he gets there. So now I should move some stuff up to the top. Well, first I move it to the bottom because his scarabs are now con trying to contest the bottom pad. So I make sure I get cyber wheels there before he has a chance to get there. So I'm now winning the missile. He then moves his scarabs back up to the top. And I see him doing that, so I get there before he does. My cyber wheels get taken out, but they are not, they are allowed to get enough shots on the scarab to completely eliminate his scarab. I'm now controlling two out of the three pads here, so he sees his strategy starting to not work, so he gets out missile squads. However, he doesn't have much of an economy compared to me. I can't see this during the game, but I just know by how he's playing and what he's been doing that he can't have a good economy. So he's not going to be able to get enough units out to contest the pads before the missile charges. He wins the middle, pa uh, middle pad, but he doesn't have enough time to get on another pad to stall it. So now, I've moved my cyber wheels forward on the bottom and I can see that he's gone double harvester. Okay. So, now that I've won the first missile, he's in desperation mode and is really trying to ramp up his economy. That's why I build a tank to now put some pressure on his harvesters. Unit 
This what happens here is quite important. His scarabs are only level six, and my scorpions level ten. Obviously, you won't always be in this situation, but I know my tank can take one hit from the from the scarabs and still be still be alive, still be functioning. So I can take one of those scarabs out, hopefully with the cannon, and then take a direct hit and still be okay. See, that's his scarab's gone. And I know I'm not going to kill his harvester here, but what you see is I'm moving my cyber wheels forward on the bottom, sorry, on the middle pad, so he can't get on the middle pad with his missile squads now. It's all about maintaining control of the middle pads. Even though he's going double harvester, I'm making it really, really hard for him to get onto the pads. This is why this is so important. Don't give up the pads in a desperate attempt to try and attack his harvester. You've already won one missile. Make sure you win the second one. Don't lose sight of that. So he gets an artillery out, which is throwing a bit of a curveball to me. I don't really know what's going to happen here. So I just try and keep pumping out cheap units to keep control of the pads. And because my population cap, uh, it's not full because he keeps destroying my units, but it slows down a lot when I do have units out. So I get my Ceph drill pod out as well, just for extra insurance. Because that doesn't that doesn't slow your population cap doesn't slow the build up of your Ceph drill pod. So you can sort of get that out any time as long as the ability is charged. Now it gets a bit hairy here. Um, he's stalling the missile and then gets a a tower out. So I thought for a minute there it might have gone wrong for me, but he just used all his money on the artillery and the tower, so he wasn't able to get enough units out that actually move to be able to contest the pads. And I win the game. It's quite a short game, but obviously I was pausing it along there to talk through the details of what happened there. That was quite a textbook example of how to how to deal with scarabs. It's all about maintaining control of the points in the early game so they can't get established. If they do manage to get established, what you do what you need to do is sort of hunker down and attack it with units that have a two tile range of of firing. So something like a Giga Cannon, MLRS, snipers, any sort of unit you can think of. So make sure you either have early game scouting units that can take control of the pads before the scarabs do, but if you're running a more expensive tech deck, make sure you have a unit that can shoot from two tiles away. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have please give me a like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this strategy in the comments below. Do you try this yourself? Are you gonna try it? How's it working out for you? And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.